Hi guys, welcome back once again to my channel. It's really good to have you here. Uh, you're very, very welcome if you're new here. Please do subscribe if you are new here because we've got lots of content such as this coming your way really, really soon. Um, and we're gonna start today with, it is a fake away, but it doesn't quite feel like a fake away because it's, I don't know, is Wagamama healthy? It feels healthy. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna be making Wagamama's katsu curry. And we're not just making like a katsu curry and calling it Wagamama. We're actually making a Wagamama one. I've got the cookery book right here. Uh, this was a Christmas gift from my sister Amy and her husband Paul. They got me, the, me and Joe this for Christmas. And as you can see in here, all the recipes are here. You've got yaki udon, you've got chili squid, you've got beef brisket ramen, bang bang cauliflower. We had that the other day, that was very good. And chicken katsu curry. Don't know if you can see what Joe's written there. 10 out of 10, amazing. We've had this already, it was very, very good. And it did just taste like the Wagamama one, it was very impressive. So as fake aways go, this video is gonna be one of my more sort of guided efforts, you know? This is gonna be about as accurate as you can get because it's in their official cookery book. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it another go today. Uh, you get to make the katsu curry, but also on a later page somewhere in the book, it tells you how to make the katsu curry sauce, which of course is the, the key to making it taste authentic, you know, to, to Wagamama and to what they, they do when you go into the restaurants. I'm actually gonna make this meal for lunch today rather than for dinner. Uh, when, you're, when you're YouTubing like I am, you have to sometimes consider the light. <laughs> and I don't have like a ring light or a big lighting rig or anything like that here in the flat, of course. So I have to video stuff when it's lightest. And by the time we have dinner tonight, it would have been half eight, which is when Joe finishes work. It'd be very dark by half eight. So I'm gonna do dinner for lunch and lunch for dinner. So for dinner tonight, we'll be having a sandwich. And for lunch, we're gonna be having a Wagamama katsu curry. So let's head to the kitchen. Let's get it made. And uh, yeah, let's have another fake away. Okay guys, it is lunch time. It's time for that katsu curry to be made. I've got my book right here with the ingredients in. Uh, there's two pages in here that I need to be looking at. I need to be looking at the katsu curry page that you can see right there. And also this page here, which says sauces. And that is because I'm gonna need to make a katsu curry sauce, of course, for this one as well. Uh, so there's two, there's almost two recipes going on here and I need to do some rice. We've got a rice cooker, so I'm just gonna put the rice in the rice cooker. Um, but you will need quite a few ingredients to make this one. Uh, I would recommend, by the way, if you're a fan of Wagamama, get yourself this cookbook, Wagamama, Feed Your Soul, Fresh and Simple Recipes from the Wagamama Kitchen. Um, this video is not sponsored or anything like that. Me and Joe really like Wagamama, so I thought I'd just uh, show you this one. I will link it down below as well, this cookbook. Um, there's a link down below that will take you straight to it if you want to get yourself one. I don't believe they're that expensive, but the recipes in here are so good. And they do taste like Wagamama, like it really does taste like the real thing, if done correctly, of course. And I'm going to show you how to do it correctly now. You'll need 120 grams of rice, two skinless chicken breasts, 50 grams of plain flour, You'll need two eggs, 100 grams of breadcrumbs, 75 milliliter of vegetable oil. To make the katsu curry sauce, you'll need also need the following. Two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil, one onion, just one garlic clove, a small 2.5 centimeter piece of ginger, one teaspoon of turmeric, two tablespoons of curry powder, one tablespoon of plain flour, 300 milliliters of chicken stock, or vegetable stock, 100 milliliters of coconut milk, one teaspoon of light soy sauce, and one teaspoon of sugar. That's everything you need to make this recipe. Like I say, you're really cooking three things. You're doing the chicken part, the rice part, 
and the katsu curry sauce part. So there's three elements to this. I'll show you how to make it, but as I said, if you really want to do it properly, uh, with all the written instructions and everything, you want to get yourself one of these cookbooks, which are linked down below. So have a look at those as well. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's make ourselves a Wagamama katsu curry. Now I'm not going to lie, that took quite a long time. <laughs> it takes even longer when you're filming yourself as well, you see, so I think it took double the amount of time that it should have done. Um, I don't know, probably about an hour or so, I reckon. Um, but yeah, I reckon if you weren't filming yourself, you could do that probably in 45 minutes. But it's turned out quite nicely. Um, it's Chicken is looking nice and crispy. The, the rice and the sauce was ready way before the uh, chicken was the chicken took a little bit longer to do than I thought um, But that's okay. No problem. Um, and there's certainly plenty of it I think I don't know if you can see that very well, but this portion here I reckon could do Could if you did a little bit more rice with it, you could have a chicken breast for two people I would say like one chicken breast between two um, But it smells good certainly looks like the katsu curry I was gonna do a salad on the side because that's what they do in Wagamama but no room in the bowl for that. So I decided to forego the salad, which wasn't too much of a sacrifice to make because for me, it's all about the, the curry. So let's give it a try. Joe's just off camera. Joe, how is it? Mm, delicious. <clears throat> Joe approves. Mm. I'm going to give it a try now. Yeah, I got the sauce just right, I think. Mm. Well, I could use the blender to blend up the onion. Yes. I should actually mention, Joe makes a good point. It does say on in the cookery book that if you want the sauce to be a bit smoother, you can put it through like a sieve or blend it. I didn't do that because I ran out of time basically. So there's still sort of chunky bits in my sauce, but the one in Wagamama is a lot smoother. But this one I think is still, it's a pretty good alternative. You know, if you were looking to make a katsu curry for people coming over, and uh, you, you know, you didn't necessarily have to make it like the Wagamama one. Then the sauce like this would be fine. But if you're going for that Wagamama look, Joe's right. You probably want to smooth out the sauce a little bit. But the flavour is good. Um, it's it's not too because you know with curry sometimes you put curry powder in something. It's got a bit of a kick. 
which sort of hits the back of your throat. I think with the coconut milk in this, it sort of smooths it out nicely, gives it that sort of coconutty taste. A bit like a korma, but not. Your korma crossed with an actual curry, but it's very, very nice. I love a katsu curry, and uh, I'm gonna eat the rest of it now. So, went for a thumbs up and a salute there. There you go, two in one. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I really do appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, though, please do so via the link below. It's there, and then you won't miss any of the future content that I've got coming up. I've got some really good, exciting videos coming up over the next couple of months. Everything is planned in, and with the restrictions changing, hopefully really, really soon, I will be able to get out and about and do some more interesting things as well with the channel. It's not just going to be cookery-based videos any longer because we're going to be free and able to explore the world a bit so do subscribe for that as well uh, like I say the link is down below I've also got the link down below to the cookery book that I use to make this meal so if you want to give it a go yourself and try some of Wagamama's other really really good meals the link is there pick yourself up a cookery book as well uh, but thank you for watching I really genuinely do appreciate it I will see you again really really soon for another video take care everybody bye bye